Joining us now with years of his own professional experience is Sheriff Will, uh, Bill Wayburn of Tarrant County, Texas. Sheriff, when we look at the headlines right now, it's an interesting thing where a lot of those in the media are telling us that there is no violence taking place on these streets. But then we see, for example, videos coming out. We showed the Molotov cocktail being thrown against this courthouse last night. And I do understand that for the most part during the day, these protests are very peaceful. But then night rolls around and uh, like it's been for the past 61 days in Portland, that's where things get a little bit more violent. But why are people so unwilling to accept that there is violence at nighttime? It's an incredible thing that they're absolutely denying that there is violence going on out there, especially in Portland. And when the evidence is so overwhelming, I don't know where they're living at or what they're thinking or what silo they're in, but they need to come about face and realize that our good citizens are in jeopardy out there because of failures of mayors and governors and county judges. And to that last point, too, I think it's an important one. Uh, we may be talking about federal agents in these different cities, and we can talk about the constitutional limits or the debate behind that. But when we talk to the police chiefs and what they're saying, for example, the one in Seattle just last week was saying that they're hesitant to send out their officers on the streets because they're ill-equipped to even handle these situations, that they would essentially be putting their own officers in danger as they try to quell these riots. What does that speak about this situation? Does that almost speak to a need for federal assistance? It certainly does. And, and you know, if we got four executives in government, the mayors of cities, the county judges, the governor, and the president of the United States. If one fails, the other one's supposed to pick up the slack and so on and so forth. And it's gotten to the president of the United States because of complete failure of those governments out there. And when we talk about this issue of federal agents being deployed right now, Portland is the epicenter of that conversation, but we may see it in the coming days. Uh, Chicago, we also hear the federal agents are going to be operating there on a more obser observationist type of uh, position, kind of overseeing what's happening there. But when we talk about this dispute between the federal agents and the police in the states, do you see a resolution taking place anytime in the near future? Or do you think that this is a divide that we're going to continue to be seeing over the next couple months? Well, we could be seeing a divide in these cities where the mayors are objecting to the federal officers being there. Protecting federal property, I may add, is what their mission is on the ground there, is that we may consider that divide. But we got to remember that why are cities created? Cities are created so that they could govern themselves, and the first part of that government is to protect their property and their citizens, and there's just complete failure out there. I don't know why they're a city. And even when we look at the videos coming out in Portland, uh, there's a reason why they're all taking place in front of that courthouse. As you astutely mentioned there, it's the idea that they're protecting federal property. They're not going out and necessarily just pulling people off the street and arresting them, although that was the narrative for a long time before it was debunked. But that's not what's happening in the city of Portland. It's, uh, I mean, this is a situation that was happening even before the George Floyd protests. What was happening in Portland was a state of anarchy to some degree. But I do want to pivot a little bit, maybe wash our palate a little bit, because I want to talk about a movement that you're participating in and it's a Walk for America event. Can you break down exactly what that is for me and our viewers? Well, I tell you, it was an event that occurred last weekend right here in Fort Worth, Texas, where a young man who had had enough, and what he did was is he said, I believe we should have a Walk for America and say we're proud of our country, we're proud of our law enforcement, and come out and back the blue and back the flag. And right here in little old Fort Worth, Texas, on a hot July day, we had well over 400 people gather up and just had some fellowship and some time to talk about how great this country is and how noble the people in law enforcement truly are. I mean, that's something that we don't hear enough about. I mean, it's one of those unfortunate things. You and I have talked about it before, but sometimes it takes a tragedy for us to really appreciate the police officers that do so much for us on a daily basis. So I want to kind of break through the big picture things and maybe get an anecdotal type of experience. What is it like being a police officer in Tarrant County, for example? Are you seeing these divisions that we're seeing on the streets elsewhere, or is it that more unity type of thing that you're talking about? I believe there's more unity here. We do have a fragment of our group that, that stands against us that, that are anti-law enforcement, want to defund it. They're part of the, the movement to do that. And uh, But the, by far the majority of the good citizens of Tarrant County stand with their law enforcement, want law enforcement, and insist upon rule of law. And that's where we're at. And we, we've got a great citizenry to uh, rely upon.
And I think that's something too to keep in mind when we're kind of gauging this unrest on the streets, whether it's the city of Chicago, uh, for example, where you see a couple thousand people. It's not three million people. It's not the entire city coming out. I think that kind of is representative of the fact that a lot of people do support the police. They may want changes. They want may want to see different things implemented to some degree. But overall, I think people do want their community safe and they know that police play a crucial role in furthering that effort. So I think that might be perhaps a silver lining if we have to find one in this situation. Situation, but nonetheless, it does bring me some security thinking about that. But Sheriff Bill Weyburn, I appreciate all that you're doing down in Tarrant County, and I appreciate you coming on the show tonight and breaking down this effort. Thank you.